Aim Assist is an important factor in Call of Duty, and whether you like it or not, it's here to stay. The problem that most people have had though with Aim Assist in the past is that it was overpowering and it began to take little to no skill to aim at an enemy. And with the release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, back in the beta it was obvious that Aim Assist had been tweaked. A lot of streamers and players worldwide had wondered whether or not this aim assist quote unquote nerf was here to stay or if it was just something with the beta. Definitely at like longer ranges, aim assist is like pretty much non-existent it feels like. But there's a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's nowhere near how it's felt the last couple of years. I'm here to tell you that after doing quite a few tests that the aim assist has been significantly reduced in certain ways this year. I don't have a specific percentage or any proof from any developers, but I have played the game enough and done enough testing in private matches to know that it is definitely working differently. In today's video, I'll be showcasing the testing that I did for all four of the different aim assist types and explaining which one of them is the best to use in my personal opinion. Surprisingly, this year of the four aim assists, there seems to only be two real differences. Precision and focusing are nearly identical, while Default and Black Ops are now also nearly identical. If we take a look at my guide last year on aim assist, we do see that with Default aim assist, you mostly only received assistance while aiming your gun and using your right stick, while with Black Ops aim assist, you received a major buff in your aim assist if you were moving or strafing with your left stick. That's why last year we always heard about left stick aim assist. Well, this year it seems that Default received a rework and Black Ops kind of did as well, but just a little bit, and now they're basically the exact same. And until we have a better way to test our aim assist, something like what Creative Mode has done for Fortnite, and we've seen people use it to test their aim assist, we won't truly know if there's more of a benefit to either one of them for certain situations between default and black ops so what i mean by that is maybe default and black ops feel the same currently but what if when warzone releases maybe default will do a better job at helping you track players who are flying in or black ops will do a better job of tracking players who are swimming underwater these are definitely things that we can test but we definitely deserve to have more tools at our disposal to figure out which one of these to use the same goes for precision and focusing aim assist types. Basically, these are identical as well. So although there is still four options of aim assist, I believe it's up to you to decide how you like your aim assist to function and then select one of the two options. On one hand, you can either go default or black ops. And if you prefer the other style of aim assist, then you can go with precision or focusing. And there must be some sort of slight differences between precision and focusing and between default and black ops. So even though the menu says there's four different aim assist types for all intents and purposes there is only two and i'm going to be grouping default and black ops together under the left stick category and precision and focusing together under the right stick category to make things a little bit easier on you if you are trying still to decide which one you want to use really quickly before we get into the testing and what i've been able to figure out my name is reddix welcome to the channel our goal on this channel is to help everyone improve at call of duty no matter what skill level you're at i aim to make guides and videos that help not only casuals but even professional players so if that sounds like something you're looking for go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want gameplay and other types of content from me in the description is my second channel where i am going to begin posting gameplays very soon especially on warzone 3. also i do see the comments asking when i'm going to be streaming my twitch is down below we'll also be streaming on youtube so you could turn on post notifications if you want to know when i go live or you can go follow me on twitch i'm just trying to work out the schedule currently as you guys know i have a daughter a family a lot of things going on but i do want to stream for you guys very soon i'm excited to start it last thing before we dive in I never got to fully celebrate with you guys the growth of my channel, so I've decided at the start of every new season I'm going to be giving away some battle passes. So with season 1 coming up in a little over a week, I want to start the first giveaway right now. All you have to do is go down below, like the video, click the share button, and copy the link. Now you can send this to someone, but you don't have to. As long as you copy the link, you're good. And then comment down below the word shared and which platform you play on. The way I'll be giving this away is just a code for 2400 COD points or $20 worth. You could buy the battle pass with it and have some leftover points, or you can just just use it for a bundle. Whatever you want to do, that's up to you. It's just my way of showing appreciation for you guys. And in the future, I'd like to give away more than one, but for now, just one. That being said, let's get into the video. Now, as I previously mentioned, and if you've seen my videos last year on aim assist, you know that I went in depth with a full breakdown on how aim assist worked. It was very tedious. There was a lot of different things to test and multiple different outcomes with different results per aim assist type. This year, on the other hand, the testing was much easier because everything kept lining up. Default and Black Ops are basically a group of one type of aim assist, while Precision and Focusing are pretty much the same thing as well, 
but on a different type of aim assist. Take a look at your screen right now, you'll see that none of my aim assist types were triggered while I was aiming at a moving opponent, or even if I was stationary, the aim assist was not picking anything up. However, here's where things get interesting. The way that aim assist seems to have been nerfed this year is you have to use either your left or right stick somewhat. Last year, you could get away with sitting still and just aiming without using either stick and your aim assist would occasionally pick up if you were using something like default. However, while using both Black Ops and default aim assist on Modern Warfare 3, I received my assistance if I personally was moving my character with the left stick. So it appears that they nerfed default aim assist to where now it doesn't assist you as much or really at all now unless you're moving or strafing even if it's just a little bit. That's how Black Ops worked last year but default had a slightly stronger aim assist even when you weren't moving. Long story short last year you had to move for Black Ops aim assist to kick in but not for default. This year they're both the same way you have to move somewhat for them to kick in. Now as you can see on the screen default and Black Ops aim assist types both have somewhat of a slowdown if you're just aiming with your right stick at your opponent which is a very small amount of aim assist but that's why it's best to combo them your left stick while aiming with your right stick strafing while shooting and very soon i'll be releasing a video on how to abuse aim assist part 2 the modern warfare 3 edition but for now we just need to take a look at what the differences are between the aim assist types and which is the best for you to use before we can figure out how to abuse it so now let's take a look at how precision and focusing aim assist work when just aiming with the right stick See, with precision and focusing, the idea is that you're already good enough at aiming and finding your target, so you don't need a ton of aim assist. For all you people in my comments who say that you play on controller and you turn off aim assist, or you hate aim assist, you think it makes you worse, precision and focusing aim assist types are perfect for you. They're basically identical, and what they do is they don't provide really any aim assist at all for strafing or for moving while you're shooting, but they do give you a significant amount of aim assist if you're only using your right stick to track your your target. This is amplified if you're using a scope. If you're zoomed in, it's going to give you even more of an aim assist buff. It basically helps you stay on target once you find your target. Whereas Black Ops and default aim assist slow down near your target, you don't have to be aiming directly at them to get your aim assist. This is why if you do like to snipe a lot, precision or focusing is probably a good choice for you. But if you're like anyone else who uses normal guns pretty often, Black Ops and default are the best choice. I briefly attempted to switch to precision when I was using a sniper often and this change proved to not be very beneficial for me personally. It helped me track players better while I was sniping but when I would get pushed by someone up close it definitely made me struggle anytime I had to switch weapons. It's something that I think I personally could get used to and overcome and a lot of really good players could do that as well. However the average player or below average casual players would not be able to handle this change. Although I do always say aiming comes down to preference and comfortability more than anything. So even if you're a casual player, maybe you do want to give precision or focusing a try and maybe it'll prove to be better for you. However, for the vast majority of players, I do recommend the Black Ops aim assist type. And the reason I recommend this over default is simply just personal preference. I've been using Black Ops aim assist since even last year after the quote unquote nerf that everyone was talking about, which was overblown and everyone was commenting on all my videos that I need to make a new guide because Black Ops aim assist type was nerfed when in reality it was barely touched but it was very much overblown by a lot of streamers and pros which is a problem i do see in call of duty today people hear one person say something like aim assist was nerfed switch to default and then everyone runs with it without doing any types of testing and that's why i have this channel i don't just listen to what people are talking about i go and try it i go and test it and then i show it to you guys this year is much different Last year I recommended Black Ops aim assist for players who move around the map a lot and use submachine guns and then I recommended default for players who like to post up on a head glitch using an assault rifle. While this year, like I mentioned multiple times in this video now, there's not much of a difference between the two so until we maybe have an update that brings some sort of a difference or until we can get some sort of obvious difference between the two, feel free to pick whichever one you want, default or Black Ops. If you do think that you're a great aimer and you don't want a lot of aim assist, then precision and focusing is good as well. I think the way aim assist should be in the menus this year is either default or precision. The reason for that is because I think that default and black ops should obviously be merged into one since they're pretty much the same thing now, while precision and focusing should also be merged. This will make it obvious between the two, it would clear up a lot of confusion, and there will be a noticeable difference and less clutter. Part of me does wonder if there's four aim assist types and they were left in the game as leftovers from the Modern Warfare 2 menu, or if 
if they were left in to create the illusion that there were more aim assist options than there really is. Or maybe a developer can come in the comments or be transparent with us and explain the subtle differences between the few. Now, for a lot of people who may skip through this video and get to this point, I'm gonna just go ahead and let you guys know which one you should use. And like I said, I'm grouping them between left stick and right stick. Now, while if you do pick default or black ops, you get a little tiny, tiny bit of right stick aim assist, you get a huge boost in your aim assist if you're moving. So if you think that that is ideal for you, then go black ops or default. It doesn't matter which one you pick this year. However, if you think that you're like a sniper user or a long range guy who, who kind of just sits hanging out in the back of the map then you're probably going to want to use the right stick options which are precision and focusing to me precision felt a little bit better than focusing but it was, it's negligible there's barely a difference so which one should you pick it, it basically comes down to that do you move around the map at all if you do then choose a left stick option and if you don't move much and you like to hang out in the back pick a right stick option. So for anyone who skipped all the nerdy talk about the aim assist options, this is the, the plain and simple which one should you pick way. It comes down to left stick or right stick. If you are aware of any differences that I somehow didn't find through my testing, let me know down below in the comments. But if you move around the map a lot, pick a left stick option. If you don't, pick a right stick option. That's my opinion. I've been Reddix and I'll see you guys soon.